What is going on YouTubers? Abdur Son here from Endotech Black Super I come right now with Galaxy Nexus and I'm gonna show you how to flash official Sanojima 10.1 on your very own Galaxy Nexus GSM. So first of all you're going to turn off your phone and press volume up, volume down and power button all three at the same time to enter in bootloader mode. Once you are there, you will see these options. Press volume down, and again press volume down, and you will be. You will see a recovery mode sign. Press vol power button, and your phone will boot up into clock on my recovery or TWR recovery, or whichever custom recovery you get. And if you don't know, in order for this to work, you will need a root here. GSM Galaxy Nexus, or this will work on any other. Android phone that offers Cyanogerma 10.1 officially, but I will have a link for Ryzen and Sprint version if I could find it. So please go ahead and look that in description, download it, and let's go ahead and go to the process. This is the Clock Omar Recovery Touch version 6.0.1.5, and here we are going to first back up our current ROM. So if something gets messed up, you can always restore it. I already have my back up ready so I'm gonna wipe data factory reset and if you can see right there that's where all the process is written down or it shows you what it's doing so again look there to know what it's doing and once this two is done I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe user data again to double check everything is wiped once user data is wiped we are going to go ahead and go install zip from SD card, not siloed. Choose zip. Oops, go back and choose zip from SD card. I'm gonna go there zero, and I'm gonna go in my folder, which is downloadable folder. If you have it somewhere else, you can go there and find the ROM right here. Oops, messed it up. Go to download mode. And here is my 10.1 tab again and it will start downloading or installing or flashing not downloading but flashing and once again this is the process is going on I'm sorry about the focus I'm still getting used to the DSLR suiting this video so it will take a couple of minutes now Sanajima 10.1 is running the latest Android 4.1.2 and once this is done we are going to go ahead and flash Google Apps generally called GAPS that's where I refer to so we're going to flash the latest GAPS and if you don't see a link in description please go ahead and remind me as I always forget to Put gaps in the description and I'm gonna go back into my SD card go into download select the Google applications and select it again which will start flashing all those as you can see right there you can clearly read whatever it's saying it's saying mounting system and it's already done so we're going to go press press back button and oops here you go now you can see it press power button which will reboot your system and now your phone will boot sanaj my 10 i'm just going to place it down As you can see right there, that's official Sanajima 10. Boot animation. There you go, you can see it clearly. And uh, I'm going to use this ROM for a couple of days and come back with full review and uh, let you know if it's. For you 
as a daily driver ROM because this is still a nightly ROM and it's official but still it's not a release candidate RC1 or something it is RC1 I'm sorry it's considered a release candidate but this is just what they improve every night in the code and most of you know so far that initial boot initial first boot always takes time so please go ahead and give it some time before your phone boots up after it boots up make sure it settles down for five minutes and then you can reboot your phone and start all the process again by restoring your application do not restore your data as always and the phone has booted up as you can see right there and there is my Android guy wearing scarf as always guys feel free to subscribe like my videos give it a thumbs up for those Android right there and I will see you in the next video thank you for watching guys